It's the summer of 2020, and you know what that means? Time for another road trip! So I left my home in New Jersey, and I went down to Boone, North Carolina, where I picked up this guy, my traveling companion. And together we ventured down into the COVID wastelands, and we came back and lived to tell the tale. Join us on our adventures and see what we did. This is Truck Stop Road Trip 2020, and I am your host, JJ Jakes! Part 2! Join me as I visit a Virginian flea market. So I'm in the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia, in the shadow of the Appalachian Mountains. And I was thinking about stopping to stretch my legs, and I just came across this little um, thrift, uh, not thrift, a flea market and antique shop. Let's see what they got. Well, here we are outside um, with a yard full of junk. Look at this. There's like hubcaps and creepy cages, um, shopping carts. Uh, this is this just looks like a bunch of stuff that washed up on the shore after a hurricane or something. Coming inside, this place kind of gives me a Cracker Barrel vibe with all the old... What the hell? I don't know what that is. Um, all the old wooden stuff and tools and furniture and here's some uh, astrology things. Uh, baby cradle. <laughs> and just more junk wood, old barn wood, um, you know, that gets repurposed for various things, and, um, lights, and here's a cool old chest, looks pretty old, a pile of buckets, another old chest over there, here's an American flag made out of, um, beer caps, <laughs> I kind of regret not buying that dollhouse. Man, this place has a lot of stuff. Just piles of it everywhere. Hmm, wonder where that came from. Well, those look like old roller skates. That's kind of neat. Old wicker chairs. I think that's a basket for, like, bingo balls? Am I mistaken? Or maybe it's some kind of a Holy shit, look at that. <laughs> More hubcaps. Uh, a lot of hubcaps. More Americana. A uh, creepy doll. A uh, car seat. Hmm. Bunch of old bottles. Walking sticks and, uh, well, a nude woman. Heading inside, and we have glass display cases with a whole bunch of junk in them. A couple of pocket knives in there, it's really hard to see with that reflection, but there's like zippos and coins and all kinds of things that uh, I didn't have much interest in. Ooh, who's that? Oh god, <laughs> I forgot about that. Creep show stuff. Hey, that was one of those Himalayan salt things. So these are knives that are like, I guess, race car themed. They all look the same. Pretty crappy. I had no interest, really. So the layout of this building was there, there's a bunch of rooms. It, it, I think it was a house at some point, and they just filled everything with shelves and display cases and uh, here's a rifle scope. <laughs> uh, some more old lighters and so there were just rooms and rooms and rooms of all kinds of stuff and not really any kind of theme to anything. It just... they just piled it in where they could. Giant bottle of Seagram's. Oh, I I don't know. <laughs> Why would anyone want that? <laughs> yeah, some old army toys. Uh, captain's hat. And a battleship. Mm -hmm. 
And here's one of the rooms I was talking about. Uh, not a whole lot in there that I cared for. Hello to the, those two again. I liked how there were windows on the inside, like the, the home was built up, and then this area had a stone path to, to walk on. So I think it was basically just a modular home that got built up, kind of like the Winchester house. Old games. Hmm. A lot of old lighters. Those are popular. Pencil sharpener. <laughs> Is that what that is? No, that's a reel, I think, for a fishing rod. I don't know. There's a knife with someone's name on it, it looks like. Hmm. Here's a cool little battleship I found, and a pile of old records. I think these statues looked really interesting to me. They look, um, like Greek. Pretty neat. And we have some old Disney stuff in that cabinet. Old furniture and a bear on the wall. I liked that. I don't know why I didn't get it. Over here we got some old dolls, a puppy, and an at-home cocaine drug test. Oh, you better believe I'm buying that. <laughs> Some of these old paintings and photos are pretty cool, but... Oh, what the fuck? I'm just gonna keep moving. A lot of glass things over there. They had a ton of books, holy crap. And then randomly this action figure in that head. <laughs> And I, <laughs> what the hell happened to that guy? Here we have some uh, old railroad spikes, which I can get for free when I go hiking, if you know where to go. And up here they have some World War II stuff, a mess kit and a canteen. So I bought those two. Twelve bucks? Why not? Looks pretty neat. I'm taking that home. 